Hello everyone, Sun Sun Duck 2, welcome to another mod pack overview, this time on Adventure Pack, a fabric mod pack that simply focuses on, obviously, adventure. So you've got a focus on things like Age of Exile, um, certain mobs, stat system, and a few other things, along with certain other blocks for building. You've got certain other things like furnaces. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff, and we'll get into what it is we see here. So we'll start from the beginning, and let's see. So content Elise, you've got Nook Build for building options. So you've got a bunch of vertical slabs. You've got some walls, you've got some bricks, as well as stairs and other means for certain types of materials different dyed versions, or different variations in terms of pressure plates, paving, buttons, and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, if we go back a bit, because I actually missed one, uh, we've got a crafting pad, which is a portable crafting table. We've got, so this is some leaf piles as well, in some wood. You've got diner caps, which adds the ability for you to do certain things with Buildings, pretty sure. Um, I have to remember back a bit, but yeah, that's what I remember as vaguely as possible. Uh, you've got simple backpack, which adds in backpack, avoid one, so that's for trashing things, and then you've got an ender chest access one. You've got deep mob learning refabricated, which adds in a bunch of different models as well as learning capabilities, I think, for mobs. You've got some casings, some matter, some armor, and a few other bits and pieces. You've got Dawn API, which also adds in a few things for the building. So you've got more vertical slabs, you've got some leaf piles, and you've got some mushrooms as well. I don't know if these actually appear in the world in something like a swamp or mushroom biome, but I would assume they do. Uh, you get Curious API for adding in a slot, a few slots for certain things. It was obviously adding in sort of template stuff, testing stuff. Um, you've got expanded storage for adding in additional chests. So, for example, let me just cheat this in. So, we've got so an upgrade to the regular chest. So, a double chest inside a regular a single block space and you've got obviously a lot larger but by two pages you can change the actual thing here to a single page or a scroll bar but we can really tell with that but you put this in here as you keep showing how much more slots there is and so on and there's also upgrades and more you've got Plato's Transporters, which adds the ability for you to make different vehicles, whether it be um, on water, in the air, or on land, using certain components. You've got a dawn for adding in furniture, so things such as a sofa, chair, table, cabinet. Uh, you've got some posts and such for certain other means. You've got shelves for storing things, kitchen sink coffee tables, lamps, crates, stone torches, picket fences, and more. You've got Age of Exile, adding in tomes as well as a bunch of other different types of materials you'll probably come across from mobs, uh, as well as possibly the ability to make, to make them using certain ores or certain cloth. Um, you can come across certain swords using similar materials, or in this case, I think this is from it as well. Um, Red to scorch stick. Pretty sure. Maybe, maybe it's just a different mod, or it's just different uh, details applied to it. But at least, what I would assume it comes from this mod. And I just happened to get it after attacking a zombie that was just there before I started recording, so that's quite cool. That you get certain drops from certain mobs. Uh, you've got Wild World for adding in additional stuff to caves. Um, so you'll find these in, say, 
deserts, you find this in ice caves, thief paths, or just appear in certain items on the um, on the top. Um, and you find some mushrooms as well in between. You've got plant in a jar as a way of putting plants inside a jar to have them grow. And then it'll pretty much just store everything in here. So I could put a sapling in here, I could put a nether wart in here, I could put many different things, and it would pretty much do everything I need it to. And I can just output it elsewhere. Fabric furnaces for obviously adding in furnaces that upgrade in speed, as well as obviously use more or less fuel. Uh, and there's also the chance of duplicating items. So pretty much you could have it where it just does a chance of a second one every 33%, 66 or 100. Um, there's also glass ver or crystal versions as well. Glass versions, technically. You've got exotic blocks for adding in additional glass. You've got columns. You've got different styles and sort of approaches with inlays and panels and lamps and a bunch of other stuff. So quite a lot of block support from your typical blocks, but then in different forms. You've got slopes, you've got slabs, you've got all the directional, and a bunch of other things. There's a lot of building opportunities here. Yeah, we'll just go through this because there's quite a lot, and you can kind of get an idea just based on what vanilla blocks there are, and then just sort of the similarities between each of these um, here. Uh, also adds in some lights as well, and a block cutter if you need to for certain blocks there. You've got where the biomes you'll go, which adds in a ton of biomes, and the occasional ore and tools and armor. Uh, there is also certain stones, some wood, some boats, and other building opportunities as well here. Crafting tables, you've got berries, you've got bookshelves, you've got doors and other planks and slabs and other things. So there is a lot in here, a bunch of plants and such. Uh, you've got secret rooms, which adds in a bunch of different things such as certain types of blocks, you've got a lantern button, you've got what else was the redstone chain, Salt torch lever or a torch lever, or a paste. So you've got the ability to pretty much activate certain things or have certain doors that blend in with other blocks. Uh, you've got ghost blocks, you've got trap doors, and that's supposed to be it for the content of the mod. Uh, there is also, I think, some structures as well you can maybe find, as you can see here. Which I haven't found too many because I haven't explored that much, but get a chance of certain food it seems, and the following here. Yeah, okay, so these are from Age of XR, this is for the stuff there. Uh, we're currently in a site, Skyrus Highlands, and if we check the other additional things, you've got Apple Skin for certain hunger related stuff, Balance of XR for anti-mob farm stuff, We've got Blur, which was the background change that you saw there. Cave biomes for similar to Wild World, except instead of just adding in the actual... Well, actually, I guess not. Um, but in terms of like adding the extra stuff to caves, it doesn't uh, affect the caves. Uh, with the plants and stuff, it'll affect uh, the blocks more so. Um, so you have like ice and caves, no ice biome or so, compared to like maybe sandstone and caves and a desert biome. Uh, you've got controlling for additional control options. You've got craftable horse armor and saddle for adding in recipes for those. You've got... yeah, okay, you can take your home with you. I forgot about that. Um, Eldritch mobs for additional mobs, and similar to the Infernal Mobs mod. Uh, a chunk pre-generator mod. Um, experience orbs that are combined together to reduce uh, sorry, this is with small performance. Claiming mod for certain means for that on servers. Uh, durability, as well as other things. 
letting you know what something is from in terms of what mods and stuff. You've got Fireflies, support for stuff in mod packs, performance, um, mouse wheel tweak sort of things, no fog appearing, a replacement for the vanilla world generator, a book to tell you what certain things do, roles for players, the sound that appears in that once the mod pack's downloaded, um, tags for nether portals, maybe end portals, I'm not sure, uh, sound effects for certain blocks, uh, recipe related, vanilla like structures, so things like um, a desert well or a jungle temple or this and the other will have their own differences with either just different loot or different blocks that appear in place of those. So you have like maybe a warped wood jungle temple or you'll have a ice, uh, sorry, a snow desert well sort of approach. So stuff like that. Secret rooms have covered certain other additional stuff. You've got a uh, tree filling type mod, you've got a darkness changing, a grave sim like one with chests, uh, jumping between walls, and world edit, and a mini, mini map, so for building and mini map really stuff. Or, um, uh, what's it called? But yeah. Uh, that seems to be it. Uh, there is a server IP though, which isn't part of the mod pack here, but you can add it in easily. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.